Our first storyteller is Sandra Adams. Sandra really cares about what she does, passionately. She has been working for close to 18 years in home visiting, working for programs like Parents as Teachers, Early Head Start, Healthy Families America, and since 2010, Help Me Grow Brighter Futures in Montgomery County. She has seen the good, the challenging, and the ugly. And instead of resigning to the status quo, Sandra uses her experience, both personally and professionally, to advocate for the best parts of what she does and the others in her field are doing. As a mother of two boys who are her pride and joy, and as a Latino woman, Sandra brings all of who she is to her work as a home visitor and as an advocate. She knows that her voice speaks for those whose own voices are sometimes silenced by translation. Please join me in welcoming Sandra Adams to the stage. All right, I am so happy I have this podium that I can kind of hide behind. So. <laughs> um, like Bridget mentioned, I'm a home visitor with Help Me Grow Better Futures in Montgomery County um, that works mainly with the Latino community. I've been a home visitor for close to 18 years, um, and I serve families from pregnancy up until the child turns three or goes into preschool. Um, we support families through good times, bad times, um, and hide, uh, guide them through obstacles, um, as well as a lead cheerleader through milestones. Um, as a bilingual home visitor, I, I work mostly with um, the Hispanic community. Just a few English speakers, but most of mine is, uh, are Spanish speakers. Um, before I begin, I want to start giving you a little bit of my background. I want you guys to imagine a nine-year-old girl stomping up the stairs of a creaky 153-story apartment building in the outskirts of Boston. I'm excited to tell my mom about my day. As I open the door, the smell of arroz con gandules and pollo guisado, uh, rice with pigeon beans and stew, chicken stew, um, hits me. And I think, yes, this day's only going to get better. Um, I excitedly start telling my mom about my day, and she stops me. And she says, dímelo en español. Tell me in Spanish and I get frustrated. It's not that I don't know how to speak Spanish, it's just the fact that it takes me longer and I have to think harder. So a little frustrated, I start telling, saying um, my story again a little bit in Spanish and then I continue in English and she says, no te entiendo, I can't understand you. I get upset. Um, my initial excitement is over and I say, tu entiendes, es que no me quieres escuchar. You understand, you just don't wanna listen. Um, my excitement is over. My favorite dish is, doesn't help my mood at all. Um, it's not that my American culture was trying to be erased. It was more of we were living in a predominantly American Caucasian community and my mom wanted us to hold our heads up high and be proud of who we were in, in a community that viewed us as outsiders. Um, my background in both cultures helped me realize my calling and passion in, in the home visiting world. I wanted to make an impact in the Latino community so they wouldn't feel like outsiders like I once did, um, rather than part of one. I wanted to see that the, I wanted them to see that they can be the best parents that they, they could be, even though their first language wasn't English. Others may still view them as outsiders, but that wouldn't impact the child's future. Parents in the Latino community, like any other community, want the best for their children. They're excited to be the ones to be able to give uh, the beginning milestones for, teach the beginning milestones for their children. Um, they're excited to learn about the child's development and what they could do to further that development. They're excited to feel part of a community even though they're outsiders, they want to be part of that community. So 
let me give you an example on how powerful home visiting in the parents' native language could be. I had the pleasure of serving a pregnant mom, a uh, first-time mom, and halfway through her pregnancy, she was told that her child may not make it through pregnancy. She was told that um, she was, she should abort the baby, and this mom was like, no, I'm gonna continue with the pregnancy. So I had to tailor my visits. Instead of being um, very positive, they were more supportive. Um, and letting her know, I had to explain what the diagnosis was. She didn't know what the diagnosis was. I had to explain it to her, I had to explain, um, think about having to explain to the mom, okay, if you lose this baby, this is what's gonna happen. This, these are the next steps of what's gonna happen. Um, and thank God, a couple of months later, the child was born. The initial, um, the initial diagnosis uh, that they gave her was not as significant as the medical staff has presented. Um, I helped mom support, look for different um, resources in the community, tried to look for Spanish resources instead of being using interpreters. Um, that was no easy task, but we made it work. I want you guys to think of how that, how that mom would have felt if the visits were not in Spanish and were made through interpreters. Anyone that has worked with interpreters know that a lot of the information does not go through, it gets skipped or has, doesn't get said in the right way. Um, everyone that's worked with interpreters know that a lot of the information is not as clear. So think of how this mom would feel having an interpreter. Do you think she would have gotten the information? Had, would, would, it have, would she have received this information in the same way? Would she, had gotten, would, she had, would she have felt as supportive as she is now? Well, today this child is a thriving elementary school student. He's doing fantastic. And I want you guys to know that representation matters. Um, my wish is that at one point, someday, uh, home visits can be made in the home in the parents' language. I want the parents to feel proud that knowing that even though they speak a second language in the home, oh, Spanish in the home, that their child can still be successful. Um, and whether the visits are in Spanish, French, Swahili, um, I want every mom to know that she deserves a support that she can understand.